Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down a huge pattern change that is coming to the United States this week. And this is going to change the weather entirely, because we're going to go from very cold weather to really warm weather for this time of the year across a large chunk of the United States. In addition to this, we're going to be watching for a ton of rainfall over the next several days, and severe weather will be returning to a few parts of the country. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening across the United States today and we will begin with the southern and central plains and this is an area that has been quite active over the last 48 hours we first dealt with the ice potential that happened over the last couple of days that brought upwards of a half an inch of ice to parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas but we are now transitioning into purely rain there's no longer any freezing rain across anywhere that I just circled all because of that warm and moist air lifting off to the north with that surge of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and this has actually allowed for some showers and thunderstorms to develop across parts of Texas, Louisiana and even Arkansas. Those darker reds that you're seeing down here, those are high cloud tops. That means cold cloud tops a lot. That essentially means that we are seeing some thunderstorm activity right now down near areas in East Texas and even closer to Houston. So this is going to be the trend over the next several days. Will be this storm and also another storm behind this that are going to bring a ton of rainfall and as well as some severe weather to the United States. The low pressure system, by the way, is located right about here near the Texas Panhandle in Oklahoma. Your jet stream is located right about here, so all that moisture is essentially surging right up that jet stream. And we are going to see some more showers and storms even go up into parts of the Midwest, the Southeast, and the East Coast over the next several days. So buckle up. It's going to be very active over the next several days. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. We will have daily forecasts on this event. Now, let's talk more about this weather pattern that will be impacting the United States over the next several days and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream this gives us an idea of the weather patterns that are happening across the United States and right now this is your upper level jet stream notice that we have the jet stream riding in a meridional direction that means we have curvature in the jet stream and that's what we're seeing right now from the Pacific Northwest back into the Northeast we have a ridge that's way down here to the south and east it's actually even further south and east than this but you get the picture that the ridge that we have that's keeping warmer air and drier air in place is really nowhere to be found it's all the way back down near the Caribbean Sea, and then we have this upper level low that is bringing some showers and thunderstorms across the southeast United States with a nice little strong southwesterly flow. Now, as we go into late Wednesday into Thursday, things are going to start to change. So notice as we go into Thursday, that ridge actually starts to build a bit more down to the south and east, but with that being said, we're going to be seeing a lot of shower and storm activity right in here, just to the east of this trough, and that's going to allow for heavy rainfall that could lead to flooding, in addition to some severe weather, and I wouldn't even rule out a little bit of wintry precipitation back up near the Great Lakes and perhaps into the northeast. Once we go into late Thursday into Friday, that low pressure system moves off to the north and east, and then we'll get another low pressure system behind this, so we're going to basically have two storms here that are going to develop. This one by Friday into Saturday will also bring more showers and storms to primarily the Ohio Valley, the Midwest, the southeast, and as well as the mid-Atlantic region. And by late Saturday into Sunday, that low pressure system will move into the north and east. Notice behind it, we have a massive area of ridging that we'll be looking at as we go into Sunday, and that will allow for more warmer and drier weather, but we will be watching for potentially a little cutoff low sometime next week. This will be something to watch for in the trends right now. It's kind of uncertain, and the exact details are very unknown, but usually when we get cutoff lows like this one in particular, we do see weather patterns that usually dump a lot more rainfall and much slower moving storms, so that would lead to more rainfall overall. Something to watch for in the long term, but overall, it's not too concerning for right now. Now, in terms of what we're seeing, in the United States with watches and warnings, we have tons of watches and warnings right now. Beginning with the Northeast, we have winter weather advisories for tonight. That's primarily for some ice accumulation and a little bit of snowfall. And we also have dense fog advisories for a lot of the Midwest and as well as the Central Plains. That is due to the fact that temperatures are basically meeting the dew points and we have so much humidity across these areas, which is going to lead to some dense fog here as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. We've already seen plenty of that in the Southern Plains from last night into this morning. More of that is to come. We also have flood watches in effect for much of the Mississippi Valley and as well as parts of the Southern Plains. So be mindful there will be the chance for flooding over the next several days. And we will be talking about that and the future radar in about 30 seconds. But I do want to give you an idea that there is a threat of severe weather for the next three days across parts of the United States. Beginning with tonight, there actually is a marginal threat of severe weather right now. Not much severe weather is left for today. But this is primarily along the Gulf Coast of Texas back into Louisiana. Main concern is damaging winds. Tomorrow, we'll be watching 
watching for an isolated threat of damaging winds, perhaps even an isolated tornado or two across parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. So this would be for Wacky Weather Wednesday. And then going into tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday, we probably will not have very many flying trampolines on Thursday, but there is a marginal threat of severe weather back down in a very small chunk there of the Gulf Coast, stretching from near Tallahassee, just west of there, back into parts of the southeast Louisiana area, including New Orleans. Now, let's go through the future radar, give you an idea of what's going to be going on over the next several days, where all the rain's going to fall, where will we see snow, could there be ice anywhere? We'll break that down for you in detail right now. So beginning with tonight, there is plenty of rain right now across the Mississippi Valley and the Southern Plains. This will rise into the parts of the Ohio Valley and the Midwest going into tomorrow morning. That'll lead to some showers and perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm. And yes, we could see a thunderstorm here in late January in parts of Southern Ohio. It's not out of the question with this particular setup. And by the way, Southern Ohio by Thursday and Friday could get into the low 60s. We'll be discussing that later in this forecast. By the time we go later into Wednesday, we'll be continuing to watch showers and thunderstorms near the Gulf Coast. This is really the main concern for heavy rain because we're going to see a lot of heavy rain over about 24 to 48 hours. Once we go into Thursday night and Friday, showers and storms move into the Ohio Valley. I am not expecting severe weather in the Ohio Valley, even though there is a chance of thunderstorms. I'm not expecting severe weather. Might see a little wintry mix on the northern side of this, but right now doesn't seem to be anything too crazy or out of the ordinary. By Friday morning, showers and storms continue in the southeast. We'll be watching for some showers and thunderstorms to develop off of another low pressure system by late Friday into Saturday. And this one in particular has a little bit more uncertainty, but it looks to be more of a rain event than it might transition into some sort of winter storm by Saturday or Sunday in the northeast. So that'll be something to watch for by then. And then next week, right now, things to look, look to be very, very quiet across the United States. I mean, there's really nothing in the forecast as we go to the very end of this month into early February in terms of large winter storms or Arctic blasts or anything like that. Weather looks to be pretty nice overall. Now, in terms of rainfall over the next about five days or so, we are talking about a lot of rainfall. Notice back down here near the Gulf Coast, we're going to be talking about many areas, upwards of three to five inches of rain. And by the way, the key is at the bottom of your screen. Even the northeast, a widespread one to three inches of rain is in the forecast over the next few days. Specifically down here in the southeast, notice New Orleans will be in the ballpark of two to four inches. There will be isolated spots all across this area, stretching from Texas into Georgia, anywhere between four to seven inches of rainfall. Wouldn't even rule out an isolated spot getting closer to nine inches of rain. So be very cautious there on the roadways. Turn around, don't drown, especially with this sort of weather. Now, the temperature trend over the next several days, well, the cold air is gone. It is officially gone, at least for a little while. We'll have a much warmer air mass across much of the United States throughout the rest of this week. And by next week, not many changes to the forecast, potentially some below average temperatures in the southeast. But otherwise, we could be talking about some record warm temperatures across the Midwest, the Northeast, and as well as the Central and Northern Plains going into Thursday and Friday. In addition to this, for the temperatures tomorrow morning, notice many areas in the Southeast in the 50s and 60s. That warm air will be rising to the Ohio Valley by Friday morning. This is the morning, by the way. We could be talking about record-breaking low temperatures, but being on the high side of things, upwards of mid to upper 50s in parts of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and even near Buffalo, New York. We could be as much as 50 degrees on Friday morning. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.